So guys, so finally I find all the time to get to the new Honda Recall issue. And it's already um, uh, in my previous video, it's pretty much the same problem that I already addressed uh, a while ago. And that is with uh, the that is with the front uh, front panel, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link uh, down below for that video so you can uh, see it in more details. But pretty much, uh, I was talking about over overfilling the fuel tank, and the gas would go in here in between the gaps, and it would go right on the electrical components here on the inside okay it will go on uh, the outlets and on, on, on the inverter and I was not really happy about that so if Honda listened to me at the time and uh, they would just change the design of this uh, cover it's just pretty much laziness um, they wouldn't have this problem right now right but anyway um, this problem is about uh, having an issue when you leave it outside in the rain the rain water will actually get inside uh, inside the cabinet here or inside the case inside the frame and uh, it will create a problem well normally it wouldn't be a problem because number one this Honda is not weatherproof or rainproof okay I have never read anywhere in the user manual that this is a rainproof design so if you don't leave it outside in the rain you wouldn't have this problem simple as that okay and I even purchased a really nice book shop manual for about I don't remember maybe 60 bucks and they go in a detail um, maintenance and um, it's a really, really, really good, good book uh, to explain the generator a little bit uh, more in details. And even in this book, it doesn't say it's a weatherproof or rainproof. You know, it, it's just not. It, it isn't. Okay. So, so the problem here is, well, the rainwater is not actually the problem. The rainwater is not conductive. Okay, it doesn't carry electricity. The problem is, as they mention it in the recall when it becomes mixed with a uh, with a salt and that could be either from the air or I don't know I'm not a specialist on that but uh, I know that the stilt water which is actually rain does not conduct electricity okay once you're gonna mix it once it go through the ground and it will become a spring water it will have a lot of iron in it and a lot of minerals and then I mean, then it becomes conductive and same thing with with the salt if the rainwater if if there is a salt dust some kind from if you're living somewhere on, on the coast obviously it's gonna have some salt uh, in the air and uh, either it's a dry salt dust or it's in the rain or whatever it's going to get into the generator and then it will become the rainwater as, as long as, 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 as it's just this, uh, dry dust, uh, salt dust, it's not a problem but as soon as you're going to mix it with the water the water will become conductive will, will carry the electricity and then that will be the problem it will create a short inside here and uh, simple solution to that is just don't leave it in the rain okay don't leave it in the rain and don't overfill the gas tank two main uh, uh, issues addressed right right here right now so you can do for example you can you can use a tape and tape this over Okay, really good tape is actually the metal tape that would uh, that would protect it a little bit right here um, on both sides obviously but still 
this frame is not weatherproof and it's not gasoline proofed either so I don't know what else to tell you um, just don't leave it outside in the rain and you're not going to have this problem um, okay guys that's it I rest my case and I don't know why everybody's making such a big deal out of this it's pretty much a common sense okay it's an electrical device don't leave it in the rain simple as that okay um, I guess uh, I'm done with that that was uh, addressing the recall of the Honda EU2200i and I guess on the uh, new models they will improve the design somehow that the water or the gas will not get in I would hope so but until then um, see you later